the Sioux and West Dixon Waterfall Refuge and the Emaquan Complex. 17,000 acres of wetlands and associated rivers, streams and lakes with adjacent savannas and prairies, all representing the diversity of natural Illinois River floodplains. Thanks to the collaborative efforts of the Fish and Wildlife Service, the Nature Conservancy, the Wetlands Initiative, and their many partners, this mosaic of habitat thrives once again. Well, when you look at the landscape behind me, it's difficult to imagine how much has changed over time. If I could take you back thousands of years ago to when people first occupied this landscape, they would have seen a scene much like we see behind us. These broad wetland areas would be areas that people would take advantage of for food, uh, materials for other basic needs like shelter and so on. And in time, this became a cultivated landscape, cut off from the river to promote cultivation and protect the crops. This was the first major transformation to the landscape where once there were wetlands, now there were row crop fields. After the Nature Conservancy purchased the property, row crop was discontinued and the process of restoration began. In the end, if we brought the ancient people back to this place and they stood on this hill overlooking Emaquan, they would recognize the place immediately. At one time, these sites were known for their fishing and waterfowl hunting, contributing to the Illinois River as the most productive inland commercial fish and mussel harvests in the United States. In 1936, the Fish and Wildlife Service acquired Chautauqua Refuge primarily to restore and manage the area as a sanctuary and breeding ground for migratory birds. We're better able to manage the water levels now. We can create mud flats that are important for shorebirds and we're able to encourage the growth of both submerged aquatic and moist soil vegetation, which is important for waterfowl. After success at Chautauqua, the Wetlands Initiative began restoration of the Dixon Waterfowl Refuge in 2001. And in 2007, the Nature Conservancy began work at the Amaquan Preserves. These collaborative restoration efforts have brought water back to lands that have been drained for nearly a century. With the water came the native plants, and with the native plants came the fish and waterfowl. The culmination of this work is what has earned each of these sites recognition as Ramsar wetlands of international importance. To date, only 34 sites in the United States have achieved this impressive designation, and this is the first time that two sites have been consecutively designated on one river system, the Illinois. Receiving a designation of this nature is no simple task. There's a rigorous process a site needs to go through to secure this Ramsar designation. First, there's the Ramsar information sheet, the same sheet that's completed by all sites around the world who want to have this designation, that explains the biological, ecological, and cultural importance of the site. Second, there's a thorough review process by Fish and Wildlife Service staff and by members of the U.S. National Ramsar Committee. It's important that we have these really strong criteria that people need to go through because that ensures that the most important sites receive this designation. The Emaquan complex met or exceeded eight of the nine criteria used by Ramsar. For example, researchers at Emaquan documented the presence of 135,000 American coots in one single day, which is about four and a half percent of the continental population. The Ramsar criterion is to regularly support 1% of a population. And the Emaquan complex supports hundreds of thousands of water birds during migrations, far surpassing the Ramsar criterion of 20,000. The Dixon Waterfowl Refuge meets six Ramsar criteria, uh, particularly because it represents landscape in Illinois that is uh, fast disappearing because of drainage and habitat loss. Uh, for example, there are 148 species of plants and animals that are threatened with extinction in Illinois that have found a home at this site. The Emaquan Complex and Dixon Waterfall Refuge are a testament to the resilience of floodplain wetlands and their abundant natural resources that have sustained civilizations for more than 12,000 years. Though today we celebrate and honor the internationally significant work completed at these two sites, we must continue and expand these efforts to meet the needs of the future. We're now finishing up the restoration of a very large sedge meadow, approximately 300 acres, and tending to the problem of invasive species, particularly the common carp. Our river ecosystems face many stresses today. Among them, invasive species, altered hydrology, and poor water quality, including heavy sediment loads. 
The Nature Conservancy with our partners is doing research and monitoring at Emiquan that is developing and testing effective restoration and management strategies. These strategies can then be shared with other land managers and policymakers, helping to ensure the ecological health of other great rivers around the world and the diversity and abundance of plants, animals, and people that depend on these river systems. Wetland systems such as Dixon and Amaquan provide the recipe for a more sustainable future, one that yields clean water, flood protection, and economic development. This is a recipe we cannot afford to keep a secret. Continuing and expanding these efforts will ensure we meet the needs of nature and people now and for future generations.